FIFA slapped Croatia's assistant coach Ognjen Vukojevic with a $15,000 fine for posting a video featuring the chant Glory to Ukraine. Defender Domagoj Vida got away with a warning for exclaiming Glory to Ukraine after his team's victory over the hosts. Both men have played for the Ukrainian club Dinamo Kiev in the recent past. Croatia's Football Federation expelled Vukojevic over the video and apologized to Russia. But Ukraine's Football Federation vowed on Tuesday to support both men. Lawmaker and president of the Football Federation of Ukraine, Andriy Pavelko, was dressed in a Croatia shirt when he spoke in parliament in Kyiv. We have a clear position to support our friends. We offered legal and financial support to both Ogden and Vida in the future. Pavelko said that the Football Federation management had made a decision to reimburse Vukojevic for the fine imposed by FIFA. And if he wants employment in Ukraine, taking into account his experience and his role, we will offer him employment in the Football Federation of Ukraine. Ukraine is at odds with Russia over its 2014 annexation of the Crimea Peninsula and its backing of separatists in eastern Ukraine. FIFA's code prohibits political, nationalist and racist slogans in any form. Critics of the FIFA decision argue that glory to Ukraine is a common salute equal to long live France or long live Croatia. A Ukrainian lawmaker went as far as accusing the World Football Association of political bias. When photographs of the FIFA president posing on July 6 with a T-shirt bearing the word Putin, the surname of the president whose country committed aggression against our country, were posted all over the Internet, it's not viewed as a political step. But a usual greeting, which is common in our country, addressed to the friends with whom he played for many years and lived here, is viewed as a political step. It's clearly an unjust and unobjective approach. Vida said his chant had no political connotation and was an expression of thanks for the support from Ukrainian fans. Zlarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.